Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Recap. Let's get people in here. Oh, JM1620, first in chat. Shocker. Lee Castle, what's up, dude? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let everybody filter in here. Filter in. Flashes in. Elk dot. What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. As you can see, it's just me this week. Uh, Bree is in Portland uh, with Adidas in Complex. So she's doing big things out there. Ben had his face cut open. So he's not here. <laughs> but ben will be back next week. Um, I don't know if you guys got to see, but Ben's doing a new segment on Twitch as well called Flip the Script. He's doing that on Tuesdays. He'll be back for that next Tuesday. He did a really good job at it this past week. Big shout out to Ben. Uh, it was really fun. He played Madden. He tried to uh, reverse the script on Tampa Bay versus the Eagles, which he did. I don't think he'll be so lucky next time because he was playing on rookie mode half the time. But we'll see if he joins in chat if he's all looped up. All right, we got Mr. Walker in here. We got my Bree in here. We have Flash, which I think, Vibe Conda. Yes, Campfire. You never know what's going on with Campfire. We are showing hats today. We are showing hats today. All right. Well, since we this is a hat show after all, I did bring on a special guest. You guys are very familiar with him. Uh, he's actually off to the side right now let me bring them in taylor may gq also known as to furry hey, what's going on guys what's going on what's up brother how you doing oh man you know can't complain just staying out the way but uh happy <laughs> to be on the show tonight happy to hang out with you guys man appreciate you stepping in i gotta figure out what's going on here with this i don't oh you're upside down <laughs> You're upside down, dude. But thank you for stepping in uh, this week and helping out with the show. Big ups to you on coming in last minute for us. Everybody loves having you on. So figured why not bring you on again? Let me see. <laughs> oh, we lost him. Perfect. Oh, we got, we do have Ben in chat. Ben, let everybody know how you're doing. Lou, what's up? We'll wait for Teferi to get back in here. Looked like he was having some issues. CG, good to see ya. Hat show. Lee Castle, we can talk Tom Brady after after the at the end of the show if we want to. MV Panda, we got Panda in chat. Love to see ya. <laughs> My face hurts, but I'll survive. Love that. Ben, you looked good. You looked good for one day post surgery. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that much. All right, there we go. We got him back. Yes, sir. I'm back. Sorry, All right, I'm there we go. What do you got off to the side there? Yeah, I don't even know how I did that. That must be some, <laughs> uh, some some magic for the streams. What's up, brother? How's your week going? Uh, week is going okay. Can't complain. Um, good. You know, it's a great week for hats. Uh, Walnut skirt drops tomorrow, so I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on that pack. But it definitely yeah, is. It's a good pack. It's a good Very pack. Good that was pack. picked up by Justin and John. We'll mm -hmm. show it off here in a second. But thank you for stepping in. I don't know if you heard me when you were on earlier and uh, accidentally dipped out, but appreciate yes. you stepping up last minute. It was huge. Uh, sure. Great to have you on. And let's get into showing some hats because we got a lot of them dropping yeah. from now until next recap show next wednesday yeah you've been hat club has been on a clip man yes <laughs> yes we have so i don't have anything in person to show off unfortunately with everybody traveling for houston and things like that we weren't able to send them out to me um but i do have pictures for everything so mm -hmm. uh we'll go ahead and get started here with sure. the walnut script pack uh beautiful fall colorway um it has hints of metallic gold and i think every single hat Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a it's a lot of hats in this pack, but they're all good ones. I'm struggling to figure out which one I want. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this one actually might be my front runner right now. The Angels of the 60th side patch there. Um, Interesting choice. It is a 
very, very nice one. But we also have, which I, I think I'll show it last, hopefully, mm -hmm. based off of the way that the images are put in. But we also mm -hmm. have a surprise for everybody, which I know we already posted about, but uh, mm -hmm. reminding everybody how this drop is going to go. So this drops tomorrow, 2 mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. All of these hats are made in China. So I'm not going to repeat that a million times. All of the hats are made in China. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Angels is first up. 60th anniversary side patch. Beauty of a crown. Very good. There's a closer look at the side patch there. Hmm. Oh, we're going to show it second. I was hoping to show it last, but we're going to show it second. All right. So yep. with the Indians with the brown walnut brown crown, uh, blue upper visor, everything's a green under as well. So everything's made in China. Everything has a green under. Everything mm -hmm. has hints of uh, gold metallic threading. So Indian script uh, with this is our app exclusive. So this is our first time taking a single hat from a pack and putting mm -hmm. it into an app exclusive. So the only way you're going to be able to cop this one is if you cop it on the app, won't be available on the site, uh, just strictly in the app with the Jacobs field side patch, um, 1994 season, there, inaugural season there. Um, beautiful patch. I've actually been to Jacobs field. So it's, this is also one that, uh, it has got my eye, but I'm not sure if I want it. Um, I, you know what? I kind of, it reminds me of the Navy, the Navy Indian script. Um, I think it was an off-white crown a while yep. back. So it's like, I feel like it's that really good mix of, like I said, that brown and that Navy with that ground, the, with that gold and red kind of pop against it. This is one of my favorites. I, I have a few, but this is definitely one of my Yeah, favorites. this is, this is sitting in there. I still think the Angels is slightly beating this one out for me. Uh, sticking with that Navy and Walnut crown theme. Uh, we have the Minnesota Twins next. So I'm interested to know if AB is going to be picking up this one or if he's going to go for that app exclusive. So if I know AB, Twins has definitely got to be in the clip. So I feel like this is probably when he was going to go for it. I think before I saw the Indians, I was like, yeah. I, I feel like this was one of those ones I was like, yeah, this, this was a really good crown. I like. That this really is a really nice one, and I just so I don't have any twins hats at all. I don't have a single one, and I just don't think I can make this one my first one. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't th because I like a lot of other ones uh, better than the twins here. Um, but this okay. does have the Metrodome side patch here, beautiful side mm -hmm. patch. Love the yeah. execution that uh, mm -hmm. John and Just did on this one. I'm not sure who did which ones. Um, I just know that they cooked it up together, but it's a really solid pack. One of my favorite mm -hmm. packs so far this year. By, uh, definitely. Uh, next up is the San Diego Padres with the 50th anniversary side patch. Again, sticking with that Navy top uh, visor, green under, walnut crown. This one has like a, um, a bronze threading on the front, which is interesting enough. Um, as opposed to the golds, which we saw on the other ones, but the gold do, still does show up in the mm -hmm. side patch. Um, so it will be there as well with the swinging fryer on the 50th there. So I know a lot of people are digging this one as well. I like how they use the red just in a different location on this hat. I feel like the red fryer is a nice touch because you already got like the Navy notes and the bronze in between. So now this is, I guess I feel like this is probably one of those crowns where, like or one of those packs where like, if you get one and you mm -hmm. like it, I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, man, yeah, that was that was a tough one. Oh, man, that came out in that pack, too. Like, I feel like yeah. there's going to be a lot of people saying that. I saw time. a couple people saying that they were copping multiple. I'm interested to see what their multiples are. Because mm -hmm. um, I let's see if – oh, next one we're going Navy uh, top bill again. But the Astros, a crowd favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so with the 50th anniversary side patch here, this one has a really interesting side patch with the layering that we have going on in the back here. Let me see if I can zoom in. I can. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, you'll see it goes from like a copper to like a, a rust orange, I want to say, yeah. to uh, the bronze. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really interesting layering that we got going on there, but it's a beautiful execution of the patch, all with yeah. that gold outline there. But really strong hat for the Astros. Astros just always have good hats as much as Ben probably hates to hear that. Uh, you know what? I will say that I like this Astro script that a lot of people have been using. Spell out if if you want to be you know oddly specific, but I feel like this one is a really good. I like that. I like that color, and I like the color choice here. It's kind of like the Padres we looked at before. It's like really nice how they use 
different elements from different hats and just integrate them mm -hmm. different ways, whether it be this on one i think has the best like side patch execution for like a fall theme with mm -hmm. it kind of like the background of the patch reminds me of like the leaves changing color type of vibe i could see that i could definitely see that so it's very fall very festive festive fall hat i like it all right let me see oh wilder's in the chat right now wilder which one are you picking up are you picking up the indian script or are you picking up twins that was the question we needed to know. <laughs> what a difference. <laughs> <laughs> third, third said Austin needs to freeze for a few seconds so everyone can feel comfortable because every Twins time he shares the screen, he freezes. I, I, I told you, Austin. I, he, I was, he said Twins and Indians. So I was like, yeah, Twins had to be in there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Are you picking up both? The, yeah, he said both. Both of those. Rainy, what are you saying wait for? Jets, Jets 993. There is a beauty of a Mets in here. I, I can't deny it. So, but sticking with that Navy and Walnut Crown theme, next up we have the Red Sox. Beautiful side patch here with the 90th mm -hmm. anniversary of Fenway Park. Um, not a damn thing wrong with this hat. This one's a really nice one, too. This one's sitting in my like top four, I think. Mm -hmm. I know, I know one ambassador that will not be touching this crown. Just John will not be touching any. <laughs> Now, does Any Max Boston. ever pick up? Uh, does he ever pick up Red Sox? Yeah, he definitely has like a few. Okay. Um, I think he has some like Moffitt is like ones, but he also has some uh, Hat Club Boston's as well. I like this. Okay. It's like a very, it's like it's real chill. Like I feel like you wear this with like a a Letterman maybe or maybe like a chalk line jacket to to film. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Mm -hmm. And then we have the we have the uh metallic green in the side patch on this one which we didn't have in the others so far mm, that's metallic green now oh okay so is the is the indians one is that metallic green too is that flat uh let me see let me go back just curious i didn't even notice the green no that's mm. flat that's flat that's green flat. There. yeah ah but no it's it's cool i feel like I feel like the green UV kind of pops off of that. I think because the front logo on the Boston isn't really doing a whole lot. I right. think probably why they opted for the, I'm guessing they probably opted for the metallic green for that purpose, for that one. Could be. Could be. All right, next we have, this one is definitely giving me Snickers vibes. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. So <laughs> we got the Mariners <laughs> with the, I believe this is a 30th anniversary. We'll take a look here in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, 30th anniversary side patch. Um, but yeah, that's definitely giving me Snickers vibes. So this has the Royal upper as opposed to the Navy that we just had on the mm. other four that we just showed. Mm. Um, but beautiful execution of a hat. Yeah. Just kind of give me a candy pack from a few years ago. Definitely does. I feel like it's it's also a nod to the, to the retro Mariner um, uniforms as well. I think those, I think I can't remember what year I know. I know Ben knows what years, but. Definitely, I think I have a variety pack Mariners that's that same colorway. Just, um, it's just the royal, it's a tonal royal throughout. If oh, I dope, correctly, yeah, dope. Uh, let's take a look at chat here. Top three for Panda are D backs, athletic, and twins. So, it's mm -hmm. all those. Uh, let's see. A's is a sleeper, Elk Dot. I completely agree with you there. Uh, that mm -hmm. one is definitely in my top four. Um, yeah, but well, let's move on. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. So we'll get a closer look at this side patch. 30th anniversary here. Uh, like I said, it's got that bright ass yellow in the side mm -hmm. patch. So um, royal blue as well. Uh, I believe that is metallic from the way that I'm seeing it here. Um, mm -hmm. Wilder being in chat, he could probably confirm. And then it's got that hint of navy on there to contrast the royal. Mm-hmm. Really good color placement on that patch. I feel like Mariners patches are really good because there's a lot of places where you could play with color. So this one, this mm -hmm. one's really executed. Agreed. I like it. Agreed. All right, yeah. your neck of the woods. Yes, sir. We got the Braves with the uh, team color red upper visor, mm -hmm. uh, the metallic red threading on the front. I like. Uh, I believe it has a metallic gold in the axe itself as well. Mm -hmm. Um. And 2000s All-Star Game side patch. This is a beauty of a crown as well. I love the script on this for sure. Yeah, this is one of those you can't you can't go wrong. And then you got the navy hits in there as well to go off of the side patch. Yeah. Let's that take one. a closer look at the and I believe these all have flat baddies. I'll show that at the end as well. 
Mm. But I believe they all have flat bodies. Green unders made in China or green under visors made in China, black guts. Every single one has a walnut crown uh, and just beauties all around. Yeah, that's a nice patch. Yeah. Like that. Jet said F the Braves. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was just saying, let's go, Matt. So uh, I understand why. Uh, All right. Next up, we got the St. Louis Cardinals with that twin bird logo. Um, mm-hmm. Another script, because this is a walnut script pack after all, with that team color red upper visor green under 25th anniversary mm-hmm. or 125th anniversary. 125th anniversary side patch. Sheesh, we don't use that one too often. No, I don't think uh, most of the time I see the World Series patch or I've seen the, I think the All Star game patch have started to pop, see pop up a little bit more or the Bush Stadium patch. Those are the yep, three. The Bush I Stadium is a nice see. one too. Yeah. And with the twin birds on the side patch as well, four birds. Mm. All right. That's a St. Louis. Not my favorite out there. Here's one of my tops for the pack, of Mm. course, with the walnut crown, royal blue upper visor, Mets script. Beautiful execution of this Mets. 50th anniversary side patch. Mm -hmm. This one might be my top one. Really? Yeah. I think it's angels in this one and athletics as my third. I can actually see that. I think it's Mm -hmm. that. I think it's that script side patch combo i've always loved that 50th anniversary side patch for mets crowns it just like i said it's like the 30th for seattle it's like you can do a lot with that side patch with colors yeah and i think probably one of our more underutilized patches for the mets honestly Mm -hmm. Um, yeah i would love to see it used in more things i think you can just like make the skyline the city skyline look so cool on this exactly execution of it um and then of course go mets you know this one i also feel like because of the coloring with the amount of royal that is in it Mm -hmm. it also could lend itself to being a summer hat it could yeah i could definitely see i could see like yeah crocheted shirt you know definitely like some some button downs yeah i mean i feel like this is definitely one i'll this this was one of my favorites as well i'm not gonna lie i think that's i think i had i had dodgers mets braves and indians dodgers twins twins was yeah twins was twins was an honorable mention and who got the honorable mention? Twins. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah. The cornflakes, Flash <laughs> said. All right. Up next is those Dodgers that you were talking about. So this one is a beautiful execution with the metallic silver outline on the Dodgers script. Mm-hmm. 1988 side patch, uh, World Series side patch on this one with the royal blue upper, um, green under. It is a beauty of a hat. Can't deny mm-hmm. it. Just isn't in my in my top for this one. Usually Dodgers is. Uh, I do like Dodgers hats. So. Hmm. And then here's a closer look at the side patch here. That also looks like it uh, could be metallic. Can't really tell by the picture. Uh, yeah. With that green. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see if Wilder can say in uh, in chat if it was metallic. He's the one that shot all these bad boys for me. Yeah, no, I, I definitely got to say that um... – I think it's just that combination of like the metallic silver around the the royal um scripted um the royal threading for the script the front logo. I like it. Like I said, I feel like this this pack has a lot of crowns that have a lot going on. Yep. On the front logo, but then you have some that have like I get I want to say simple, but a less less busy side patches. So I think like this pack has a good dose of dose of half and half. I'd say. Hell yeah, I agree completely uh panda and wilder both confirmed it is metallic green so there you go metallic fans okay you got it you got it in this pack oh this is uh this is my three spot right here the mm. oakland athletics the future las vegas athletics for for ben okay. uh so beauty of a crown here with the green with the team color green upper Mm -hmm. Uh, And then throwback, a little bit of throwback in here with the old school green that they, uh, that they used to wear um, Mm -hmm. for the front script. Um, Right. Metallic gold outline. uh, And then battle of the Bay side patch, which I think is excellent. I kind of wish that we would have dropped this at the little sneak peek at the uh, battle of the Bay event that we had. Yeah. I feel like this is, this is like, I think like a lot of people in the comments are saying this one is very good. I think it's, 
when you look at the side patch originally, you're just like, ah, I don't really see a need for the Royal, but I think the Royal kind of, in a weird way, just kind of balances everything out. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of like still in that same palette. That's why I said, I think, shout out to John and Jess on this, because it's like, I feel like the way that they really played with this palette on different patches in different ways, that's... This, this one might sneak Lord. into, I might be changing my top three just literally looking at this photo. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I might be slipping this into number two and then making the Angels my number three. So I, I think just, I'm, now I'm going Mets, A's, Angels. We'll revisit I, it. <laughs> yeah, we'll revisit, <laughs> we'll revisit but it. I, but I'm, I'm not mad with that, that switch up, that last minute switch up. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. San Francisco Giants. So this is a nice looking Halloween crown, in my opinion. Candy uh, corn. Still yep. that walnut. Uh, black upper visor, green under. The you, you can see here there's a contrast between the metallic uh, gold and the orange mm. outlining the San Fran. Beauty of a hat. Very team color, but also yep. very Halloween. Yeah. But, not the last we're going to be talking about Halloween tonight. It's giving It's giving me kind of candy corn vibes. Oh, yeah. that's a good call. The yeah, candy nah, corn the fan brand. Love it. He said, like the knockoff candy corn without the white part. <laughs> <laughs> well, the white part's in the side patch flash. So yeah. the 50th anniversary side patch on the side. Um, mm -hmm. The Golden Gate Bridge became the uh, Orange Gate Bridge in the side patch here. I like that. I like the orange. I like how the orange plays against the copper and the black. That was again really good choice on color blocking there. And then you went, looks like you know white outline. Yeah, this is. I think this is a sleeper. A couple of people said this is a sleeper. I agree. Um, yep. It's like it doesn't have a lot going on, but it has a lot going on. There we go. Shauna's happy. Love to hear <laughs> that. So, um, yeah, I think if I'm like if I'm thinking correctly after seeing all the pictures of this. I don't mm. think there's one in this pack that I dislike the side patch, which is a rarity for me. No, I, I really feel like even if you're like, if you have a top three, I feel like any, any of these crowns that you get, it's a legit good, it's a good choice. Good choice. And that is it. And then there's the, uh, there's a the flat batterman on the back, mm. uh, standard Royal and red and white batterman on the back. Nothing changed on that. No metallic. Just a nice looking baddie. Mm. Black third, baddie. Third in line, oh. or who was it? Oh, Vibe Conda said the Boston needed the 99 ASG patch. You know what? I'm not going to disagree with you. I think that's one of the more common Boston side patches that you see. But He's I'm doing that to trigger me. I hate that. <laughs> but but I mean, but I'm gonna be real with you. I kind of really like that, and I'm gonna say look I at really this execution of this Boston. It's beautiful. Yeah, I I really like the like the metallic green in the in the bottom part of the triangle as well as the anniversary. Then you got the metallic red and or it looks like is it metallic? I think it looks. This is metallic. Yep. Yeah. So sure. yeah. So you got a lot of got got a lot of good hits. I feel like this is one of those times where like how we had the Seattle All Star Game patch and you kind of see that starting to work its way into like more present crowns. I think like I'm glad to see that they're using a different side patch for Boston. Let me uh the chat just brought up a good point. Uh I think there was a D-backs in this, so we don't have a picture of it. I'm gonna bring it up here on the actual hat club website to make sure. Mm -hmm. But I believe there was a D-backs in here. I think that there was. I don't remember if it was the the snake D logo or if it was I wanna say that it was. I wanna say it was. uh let me see here. Yep, we did not show the Arizona. AB, oh, no. <laughs> AB, you're missing out on your paycheck this week. <laughs> All right, let me show let me show this Arizona Arizona for you guys really quickly. Um, uh, share screen again. Window. Oh yeah, CG. Yeah, they. Um, she said his, he said it's after the baddie, sir. Oh, it's after the baddie. Yeah. Let me see. I don't know. And good call for the comments. Keep it. Oh, he honest. was right. Paycheck saved. <laughs> no, shouts out to the comments for keeping me honest because I definitely forgot that this was a script pack, and I said, "Oh yeah, that must be the the, the regular D steak logo." And I'm like, "No, yep, no, it's a furry. It's not, yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the walnut scripts." Uh, let's see. All right, I have it. Let me see. 
AB, you were right. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> we got it right here, baby. Beautiful execution on this as well with the uh, bronze outline uh, and then the purple uh, mm-hmm. along with the black upper on this one and the inaugural 98 season side patch. Let me see if we got the side patch on there. We sure do. AB, you crushed it. <laughs> so, the beautiful execution of that side patch too. Um, this mm-hmm. one is kind of like the Red Sox for me, like just not a damn thing wrong with it. Yeah, I feel like purple and brown are definitely good. Those are good colors. You can't go wrong with that purple, brown, copper. So I feel oh, like I wasn't sharing. Uh, I wasn't sharing my screen. Sorry, guys. There we go. For some reason, I really like that teal as, in as the color in that front logo. I, really I, I think it's like how it pops off of the brown. Yeah, I feel like it would have been. I feel like if they would have flipped it, it wouldn't have popped as much. Like if they just right. would have went purple for the the fill and the Arizona script. Yeah, no, this is this is dope. Ben, <laughs> ben spoils and Austin hides the picks. Yep, that's how it's gonna go. Uh, yeah, I. The, if you have a pair of mochas, you're set on this one. Mm. You're set on this whole pack. Yeah, you have mochas, right? I had, I do. I well. No, actually, I do not. I actually had a pair of Palominos, but I let them go because I have the Travises, so it's kind of like okay. That's my that's my mocha fix for for at least right now. But I think I may spend the block on them. I just the price has got to drop on them a little bit more um, for me to want to go go for those. Or I'll you could uh, you could hit trade block, and I know you got some heat. You could probably trade for something. Maybe see what I could do. See what I can see what I can work <laughs> out. <laughs> so a reminder to everybody, Walmart, Walmart, Walnut script <laughs> uh, dropping tomorrow, uh, 2 mm-hmm. p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, made in China, green undervisors, flat baddie, black gutter. That's it. Yep. Go cop it. Oh, an app exclusive. I'll show it again. The app exclusive is the indian script here so make sure you have that app downloaded it's the only way you're going to be able to cop this one and i imagine okay. that this one is going to be the first one to fly i'm just gonna uh, tell people like i know everyone's like i think there were a couple of comments earlier it's like i just don't like indian scripts i'm like this one like if there is one that you have that's i think wearable with a lot of things yep i think it's I this one and then the off-white one that you were saying yeah it's like i feel like those are two i mean off-white one is essentially team's colors. And then this is like, this is another really good crown just to have in your collection. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. So anything fall related for me is like, yeah, I got to have that. So mm-hmm. it'll be on my radar for sure. That one. What are your, what are your top ones? What's your top five? My top five. Um, I mean, no particular order. I mean, you know, I'm from Atlanta, so it's the aliens. Gotta, gotta have the. No, 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 no particular order. I want an order. <laughs> order, okay. Mm. Well, I gave then, an order on mine. You gotta give an order on yours. Okay, fair enough. So I will say that for me right now, um, Indians is definitely in my number one slot. I just feel like it has okay. all the. I feel like it has all of the palette colors that you know they're really going for in this pack. So I think that's a favorite one for me. Number two, I'm gonna. Shock Jets, and I'm gonna say that I think the Mets for me is number two. I got a Ooh. chance to kind of look at it again, and I just feel like that patch front script combination you can't you can't ignore how great of a crown that is. That's a really good crown. Third slot for me, I'm definitely gonna say has got to be um, the Braves. It's probably one of the few times I will ever say a Mets thing before a Braves thing. Um, okay. But, I will say that the Braves is definitely a good one for me. Number three, number four, I'm gonna have to say Twins. Um, I think twins, again, that's okay. just one of those. I like the side patch front logo combination, and then five for me. You actually brought me, brought me closer on this one, Austin. I think five for me is gonna be the Athletics. I think it's just there something it about that. I know I initially had Dodgers when I was initially talking, but it was just like looking between the Dodgers and this one. It's just like yeah, the, the Athletics it. wins out. Yeah, I think this is uh I think this is one of them ones. Yeah. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Yeah, CG said that yellow throws off at the throws off the Indians. You know, 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like the yellow. He said the yellow and in, in the Indians throws him off. I don't know. I feel like it's an it's nice. It's a nice pop because one gold and brown or yellow and brown, if you will. It's just like I feel like that's those are really just good colors to play with. It kind you know what it gives me. It gives me polo rugby type vibes. Like, mm. Something like that. Um, yep. you know, obviously, shouts out Nadi and Rushmore because he had the rugby Houston Astros, which is mm-hmm. a monster of a crown as well. Um, but this one, again, it's just it kind of like I said. I feel like I feel like I'm walking into polo when I see this hat. That's 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 what that's the vibes it's giving me right now. Uh, let's see. I think it. I'm not sure if it's like yellow or if it's gold. Like it's more I gold. want. Uh, I want uh, AB and. Panda to confirm that one. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was gold. I feel like it is more gold. I think from a distance, it kind of looks like kind of like almost like a yellow, like an orchard almost. But this looks to me from the yep. picture, it looks like gold. Panda just confirmed gold metallic. Perfect. That yeah. Orioles. I'm actually surprised. That's a that's a good call, CG. You, you coming with the hits tonight, bro? Um, or a fan? Like I, I feel. Like- I think Orioles would have been sick. Orioles probably would have Orioles with a fifty. Yeah, that would have been that would have been monstrous. You never know. Maybe we'll run it back if this does well. Maybe we'll run it back. Yeah, and AB with the double confirmation of metallic gold there. Okay, so that is tomorrow's drop. Mm -hmm. But the heat is not stopping. Let me show you guys what we got cooking for Friday. Okay, Mm. so Friday. Share my screen. Friday's a variety pack, folks. Mm. All made in China. All made in China on these ones. Now, I don't know if this, uh, another A's, we're bringing in the A's again with another Mm -hmm. Battle of the Bay patch. Um, But Mm. this one, I'm unsure if this was part of Taxi or not. Uh, Taxi was before my time with Hat Club. Um, But I can't. I don't know if this is like a restock of the of a taxi, uh, taxi one or not. Is that a pink UV on that? No, it's a green UV. So mm-hmm. beautiful execution on the side patch here. Like it looks really crisp and clean. Oh, I was correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Taxi. Correct. <laughs> I think I still. I think I have my. I have my Seattle Mariners taxi upstairs. Yep. Okay. That's a good one. No baddie on this one. Mm. Good look at AB's left foot. <laughs> What's he got on feet? New balances? Feet, feet, yeah. feet of champions right there. Yeah, AB, AB rocks a lot of new balances. He rocks a lot of vans. The man's about comfort. Yeah, listen, I feel it. My, yep. feet, my feet have been thanking me since I've been prioritizing comfort over style all the I've time. I've been trying to get Ben to wear new balances, and he like he just can't pull the trigger on them. I'm like, they make them in your size, dude. I know they're expensive, but like it, it'll be worth it. He said, I'm in the dad era. I respect it, AB. I respect it. <laughs> I'm in the dad era. <laughs> Love that. Yep, green under on this one. Okay, so next up, this one's giving Moscato vibes. I don't think this is anything that's a restock. Oh. I think this is brand new. Is that um, metallic gold on the side patch? It sure is. Just wait. Metal, uh, metallic all the way through on this one. So if you take a look here, Good it's got Lord. these different hints of green, like an emerald green. And then I don't know what what color green you would call that. Like a, um, almost like an olive, like light green. Light green, I guess. Yeah. But it's metallic and it looks very, very pretty. Uh, so khaki crown uh, all the way around. Mm. And then beautiful execution with the 95 All-Star Game side patch here where it's got the metallic gold. Uh and metallic green again, metallic all the way through on um, on this one. Yeah. Very very hard. That's the item. That's definitely the item right there. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite so far. I like the I like the. I, I think I'd call this pistachio green. That's I respect that. No, that's that's a good that's a good color. I really actually like. I'm surprised they didn't go metallic on the batterman, but I like it though. I still like. I'm it. surprised as well. I was expecting that green color. Uh, Metallic on the batterman there. Yeah. If they did the green metallic and then did maybe a gold outline on the to keep it consistent. No, actually, no. You know, I like it the way that it is. Sometimes it doesn't have to be dancing all the way around the crown. Yep, I agree. Gray under, gray under on this one. 
Just a nice looking hat. Like I said, this one's giving me the Moscato pack vibes with the gray unders and the mm -hmm. uh in the like khaki. I guess it's Vegas gold. Yep. I feel like it's Vegas gold. I feel like it's more Vegas gold. Yeah, I see that. Coming up, we we're not stopping with Indian scripts. So Friday release, another Indian script, folks. Mm. Beautiful execution here with the navy top visor. Stone crown on this one, not off-white, stone. Uh, and then a great side patch here with the 97 All-Star Team side patch. Was this the same side patch? No, that I, I, I'm going to correct myself now. That wasn't the same side patch that was on the – there was that brown and orange Cleveland that dropped that was on the site for – it was on the site for a minute. I don't think that's – I don't think they're mm -hmm. the same side patch. I think that's – yeah, there was some that we couldn't announce that were dropping that were on the patch for or were on the site for a little bit. So, yeah, uh, yeah, beauty. I haven't seen the side patch used, I don't think, ever in my hat time at Hat Club. No. Um, so this is like a sleeper of a patch as well. Um, and then pretty standard batterman, flat batterman on the back with uh, navy and in red, but stone crown, black gutter, green under visor. Uh, I don't, uh, these are all made in China, just so everybody knows as well. All the variety pack for Friday was made in China. Uh, this is not an app exclusive 190. Uh, John just posted this one, uh, just, uh, like an hour ago. So Chicago Cubs with the 1990, uh, side patch for this one, he cooked up with someone, uh, I forget who it was, um, but metallic threading on the front here with the. Copper and the bronze, um, and then yellow. That is not gold. Mm -hmm. uh, that is yellow. Um, so, and then the side patch is really, uh, really nicely executed here. With metallic, gold metal or copper. I would yeah. yeah, that's copper. Mm -hmm. uh, copper and bronze on the side as well. 1990 All Star game. That reminds me of the. Uh, there was a quarter pack, corduroy pack that released last year in December. Um, that's like, I think I can't remember the name. I can't recall the name offhand, but um, I think I got an Astros out of that. Um, that one, yeah, it's clean. Very nice. Cool. Um, yeah, and then we got copper and metallic gold on the back. So we got a Ooh, Elk Dot. I like that thought process. He said, giving me Peyton versus Jordan vibes. I like that, yeah. That is, that is, hmm. I wonder if that was. That was I wonder if that was the intention. Yeah. I don't know. Can't confirm or deny, but that, mm -hmm. uh, that one's pretty, that's a pretty good idea if it was. So Flashfire asked the question and I've been seeing, a, and I think it's a question I've had too. He said like, can we talk about the Indian script? It's like, we haven't seen them for a long time and now we're starting to see them a lot more. So. Yes. So I can give, I can give an update on that. So uh, you will see the Indian script used a lot more. I'm sure a lot of accounts are going to be releasing a shit ton of them. So you're probably going to get sick of the Indian script um, because it is something that was brought back. Um, Chief Wahoo will not be coming back uh, ever. That is a permanent re retired logo. Mm -hmm. Indian script though, the team gave the blessing on it. They had a change of heart. Um, I think uh, I think they were probably not seeing super strong guardians sales. Um, so I'm sure that they kind of just like open that back up and like, mm -hmm. that's where they were willing to open back up on. Um, gotcha. so with the Indians, uh, script logo, you will not see chief Wahoo. So again, if you see a chief Wahoo out there, a store releasing a chief Wahoo, it is either super, super old stock mm -hmm. or it's bootleg. Yeah. I think, um, and then I carry in asked, what about the 45 logo? Heard something about it as well. I know they had the city connects and I know that they were like, they were like that too, but, uh, I don't know about the 45 logo. I haven't heard anything on that. I can check on that though. Mm -hmm. The resellers in shambles. <laughs> All right. Gray under on the Chicago as well. And black gutter. That's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite one there. Mm uh okay and that is i believe is the variety pack for friday all made in china folks it's a top to bottom really good variety pack like yeah really good <laughs> i so that indian script will not be an app exclusive for the variety pack it will be an app exclusive for the walnut script mm -hmm. um but let me get into 
you know what? I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So we have, yeah. we, I'm going to show the dot com Saturday first, but then mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the store and show LA's drop for Saturday. I know okay. usually we show the, the store drops last, but mm -hmm. it's a big moment with a, with a uh, special individual. So I'll show that after. Uh, okay. So Saturdays, we are bringing back a favorite from Supermart. We are bringing back the Campbell's Soup Pack, mm. the collab that we did with uh, Campbell's Soup. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau was involved in that. With uh, He came and showed up from the Giants. Um, uh, and then we are bringing back – let me see how many teams here. I believe it is – I want to say six teams. I'll, I'll figure it out once we go through it. But mm -hmm. uh, we brought back six teams for this, starting off with the Green Bay Packers um, with the Pro Bowl side patch here. I think that this colorway actually lends itself to fall a yes. lot more um, than when we released it back in February. So mm -hmm. I actually think this is a really strong uh, fall pickup for people. Also, That's it's soup season, folks. Yep. Can't go wrong uh, with soup. <laughs> So we have the 1997 side patch on this. None of these have metallic threadings on them. Uh, Two-tone uh, crown, cardinal red, I would say, for the top. Uh, for the top, And then you have that maroon upper visor. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on all of them as well. Yeah. Up next, a team that is not looking so hot today in, uh, in today's NFL season. Nah. Uh, the Denver Broncos. So... This one has a 1999 side patch on it, Pro Bowl side patch on it, but mm -hmm. good execution of the Broncos logo there. Orange unders on all of these, like a burnt orange under. Um, I picked up the, which I don't think we're bringing it back, but I picked up the, oh, we are bringing it back. I see it. I see a little preview of it, but I picked up the Giants for this one, and it's a really nice hat. Mm, okay. Um, LA Rams. Mm. So this one's got an interesting look to the, uh, front logo here where you have that mix of maroon and yellow, but it also like tries to do that uh, Great fading type thing. Yeah. Yeah. That fade effect to it. Yeah. So, um, interesting front logo. I think it's a good execution of that front logo. Probably my second favorite in this, in this drop. Hmm. Uh, and then the 2002 pro bowl side patch there. It's a good one. Back when um, the pro bowl was actually a, a good event to watch. <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting for the let's ride comment from shout out to <laughs> <laughs> Let's Ride. Russ cooking soup. Uh next we have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kenny Pickett. Uh so this one has a 2006 Pro Bowl side patch to it. But hmm. nice execution on the Steelers here. I don't know if I would have gone yellow for the for the uh circle. I think I might have done the maroon. That's a top visor. Yeah. Um and then maybe done yellow for the diamonds, but I don't hate it. No, it's not bad. I, I feel like there were, you could, you could, there were a lot of different ways you could have went with it. Um, I think like you said, yellow definitely pops more with text so you could see it. Um, but definitely like maybe even like a green, you know, or something in the diamonds, like kind of like something to tie together both the side patch and the front logo, but it's not bad. It's, it's I definitely agree. Solid execution. Again, there's a side patch there of the, 2006 Pro Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago Bears. Um, again, I think I probably would have gone with the maroon for the C here. Um, probably would have flipped it and then done the yellow, uh, the yellow there. But I guess I, I get that. The Campbell's mm -hmm. soup, like Campbell's, the way that's spelled out, I believe all their yellow ye lettering is yellow. Yeah. Um, but 2002 Pro Bowl side patch here. So I get why, uh, why that choice was made. But yeah, good fall crowns, I think, for this for yeah. football. Very good fall crowns. New York Giants. So this is the one, again, that I did pick up. I like it a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually have it at my parents because I had uh, Kayvon Thibodeau sign it. Uh, oh. So And then I just let my dad hold on to it for his man cave. So, mm -hmm. But uh, really nice side patch on this one. I don't know what year it is. Is it 2002? Looks to like 2002. Yeah, looks looks that way. A cool looking side patch. Yeah, I think of all the side patches that have been shown that are like Hawaii themed, I think I like this one the best. And I can see why you picked it. Like, I feel like a front logo when like you can't go wrong with a front logo that has like a dark outline. 
with like mm-hmm. white lettering on the inside. That's just always a clean look. Mm-hmm. Next, we have uh, the Mama McNabb with the Philadelphia Eagles here. Um, so that one has a mix of different coloring in the logo itself. Um, mm. So you'll see there's like a, I guess you would call this a, like a, probably like a, uh, like wheat, I don't know, wheat like color. Wheat. Yeah. Outline here with the, with the white interior and mm-hmm. yellow outline there. Uh, yeah. And then same colorway there. This patch is pretty cool too. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Pro Bowl patch. This one's yep. 2001 or 2007. I can't really tell there. Yeah. I'll try to fact check me on that. <laughs> yeah. My bet based off of how it's written is possibly 2007, but I could be wrong. Someone can someone can fact check us. Yeah. It's a bigger patch, and I actually don't mind it. So, And I'm anti-big patch. Seahawks. Uh, so Marshawn Lich picked up this one when he uh, showed up to the pop-up there. Mm-hmm. Um, he picked up the Seahawks. Also, I don't know if you saw that there was, a, there was some shade being thrown by Marshawn today uh, mm-hmm. in an interview that he did with Shannon Sharp against individuals on the Seahawks. Really? Yeah. What did, what did he say? Like, what did he say? Like, he said he doesn't that? fuck with Pete Carroll. You know, a lot of you know what's what's funny about that is like a lot of people like Legion of Boom that was on that defense. Yep. I feel like that team really came apart when they lost that Super Bowl to New England. I feel like yeah. there was just. I mean, if I was him, I'd I'd be mad. So this is definitely 2007. So that other one had to be 2001. yeah, 2001. Yeah, but um, I don't blame him because. Mm-hmm like notoriously the worst play call in NFL history. You're on the three yard line. You have Marshawn Lynch as you're running back and you throw a, a pick. Yeah. So. Which is, it would just, it put, they put Russell in a position where it's like, yeah, I understand if you're further out, but it's like, yeah, man, you got beast on the backfield. I, I don't know. I don't know who called that, but yeah. And then, uh, and then he threw a little shade at Russ too. Not really too much. Um, but Shannon Sharp was like, uh he's like he's like what do you think about russ he goes he was my quarterback he's like he's just another quarterback for me so i was like all right so i was like that's fair i guess when you're a running back you don't really care you just want someone to hand you the ball properly but yeah i mean hey listen if you if you're a good quarterback and you can open the field up then it's more more pockets and and more holes at at the line of scrimmage that you can get so I mean, like I said, when that team was really moving and they had a good balanced offensive attack, it was good. But mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> definitely the biggest Super Bowl mistake, and it was against the Patriots too. And I fucking hate the Patriots. <laughs> uh, so it was 2007 Pro Bowl side patch there. So the other one that we showed earlier was definitely a 2001. And then yeah. raised NFL shield on this one. And then I believe the interior has, yes. So there's that burnt orange under, perfect for fall. It mm-hmm. also has the Hat Club soup label mm-hmm. with the nice little chili pepper there. Pretty dope interior label there. So, and then the Campbell's label as well, Campbell's chunky soup. Yeah, that is a good. I'm starting to get more into like getting some more NFL hats in my rotation, but there's definitely some oh, good yeah. ones in there. Definitely some good yeah, ones I'm I'm a hundred percent all for it. Mm-hmm. All right. So that is Saturday.com release early AM. I believe it's going to be on the site by 9 AM Eastern. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I remember correctly, but yeah. the, for the good people of Los Angeles, we have something special going on for y'all. So uh, Saturday has been officially dubbed Saturday mm-hmm. uh, in Los Angeles. So Doing a little activation here with our good friend uh, J Tips. So he's releasing some caps. It's about it's about mm-hmm. damn time Hat Club LA uh, got some J Tips caps. Uh, oh, yeah. He's done LA before, so mm-hmm. we're not not saying that he hasn't done LA, but he's never done an LA specific drop, which is a, this mm-hmm. is sick. So there's a few crowns in here that I definitely want. Um, I just don't know which one I want to pull the trigger on. Uh, mm. I have J Tips hats. Oh, you switched out the hat. Let's see. All swap. right. I did, I did swap. Had to had to give J Tips some love, man. Shouts out to yeah. Tafari went with the New York though when we're talking about an LA activation. Oh, oh man, 
<laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> so, Hat Club LA. Uh, so meet us on Melrose on Saturday. Um, I don't think anybody from like Hat Club corporate is going to be there. Uh, we weren't ha- able to have anybody um, make the trip, but Jay will be there. So Jay will be there along with a surprise or two. Uh, so it will definitely be worthwhile to go in person and be there for the drop. Um, Jay's going to make an announcement on what that is. Uh, so we don't want to steal his thunder there, but it will definitely be worthwhile. Um, let's see. Let's see what chat has to say. Mm-hmm. Oh, Eric with the, with a interesting take. <laughs> he said Aaron Hernandez was the only good one on that team. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I got, right. we got, um, Elk Duck was asking Austin, the people got to know, is Wilder going to make more hats? Is Wilder going to make more hats? I've seen you trying to collect those, uh, those hats from Wilder, and there might be something else you're trying to collect from Wilder in the future. Never know. Throw that out as a hard maybe, but you <laughs> won't be disappointed, my friend. Uh, all right. So let me go through from the jump here. Okay, so starting it off, don't know why they all came in back uh, Batterman first and then the front, but that's how it worked. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is the Seattle Mariners with the 40th anniversary. So I believe this is Jay's first Seattle with us. Mm -hmm. Um, And then this has a gray under. uh, Very, very Jay tips colors on this one. I love the lavender upper. And then this is a lavender uh, for the S as well. I think it looks light blue here, but I'm almost positive it's lavender. I think one thing I like the most about J-Tips hats in particular is like, even if you look at this hat, like I feel like this hat goes with this shoe. Like I feel like every crown that's probably been designed would go perfectly with this shoe. That You might be onto something there. Maybe. You might be onto something there. And then, uh, yes, infrared crown. You're right there, Davey. So infrared crown there. Uh, ben, ben says hot. <laughs> so, and then the back has the um, the infrared in the Batterman. Maybe it is light blue. I thought I could have sworn it was lavender. But yeah, maybe it, it's light blue. It looks like a little light blue, but yeah, I think I think that looks more. Light. I wish I had everything in person, but, <laughs> and then I could confirm for you. But maybe, maybe AB or uh, or Davey can confirm on that. Mm-hmm. So this one we're bringing back a classic. Bringing back a classic j tips look here so that mm. dodge this is one of the ones for me that i'm mm-hmm. considering heavy uh la dodgers 75th world series side patch beautiful crown team color dodger royal crown mm-hmm. um, and then i think this is a pinky I'm yeah i think it is positive this is a pinky uh, yeah. so i don't have under visor shots of all of these i believe they are all made in china as well um but just don't quote me on that. I'm almost positive though that they're all made in China. Uh, I just can't remember correctly if the the store told me, and I am like 95% sure it was China. Mm-hmm. Um, but pink under visor on this one, I'm very sure. Light blue visor. So okay, it was light blue. I could have sworn it was mm-hmm. lavender uh, on that last one on that Seattle. So this is a classic J tips. If you've been rocking with J tips and Hat Club for a while, you definitely know this hat. Clean. This this one. Oh, we lost to furry. Oh, oh he's right back. <laughs> so uh this one, this one I think is my top one. Really? This Dodger is here. We have the navy top crown and with the light blue top visor, gray under on this one, 50th anniversary side patch. Mm-hmm. This one's just a beautiful hat all around. I feel uh, like the- I feel like besides the Seattle, the Seattle, this probably is one of like the cleanest, like cleanest hats of the pack. I feel like most people, when you see J Tips designs, they they're very playful with different powers, right. colors. Yep. So this one is like really, I would say almost like if you show me this crown and you told me J Tips did it, I was just like, really? I, I like, almost oh. wouldn't believe you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, very very well done on this one. Love the execution of the side patch too. Just as like very LA with the mm-hmm. bright blue sky. Um, yeah, this one I think is my favorite one. So yeah, it might be the one that I caught, but I also love that previous Dodgers that I just showed. 
Uh, okay, this one is going to be a little bit different here. All right, so this one I have to skip over to here for this Dodgers. Okay. So we have a gray uh, top crown, 1980 mm -hmm. All-Star Game side patch on this Dodgers. This, maybe this is where the lavender came in. I think this has a lavender under visor here with okay. the purple top visor. Mm -hmm. I need a confirmation on that one, uh, Davey or Wilder. Yeah. That's the beauty as well. Yeah, I like this one too. It's kind of like plays off of that. Um kind of gives me like burgundy fives type of vibes mm -hmm. with, this shit, with this crown in particular. But um it's like has complementary colors in there too with the almost like that berry purple and then you have the lavender also yet yeah, stuff yep. like that. I think I'm almost positive it's lavender UV on this one. Okay. Next we have another classic J tips look here. Mm -hmm. green upper crown uh, and then light blue top visor with a gray UV on this one as well. 75th, same as that other one uh, for the side patch. And we have light blue and green for the batterman on this one. All flat baddies. Again, I'm almost positive made in China. Mm -hmm. um, this one is Davey's personal favorite here. Mm -hmm. We have the off-white crown, red upper visor, electric yellow LA logo, very, very detailed side patch here. So this one's got a whole mix of colors. If you want to show that shoe off again, um, mm -hmm. you'll, yeah. see, you'll see pops of these colors throughout that shoe for sure. Um, yeah. I feel like, I feel like this one kind of reminds me of in and out I'm not going to lie to you. I, <laughs> that, that electric, I can like, see that. I can see yeah, that. The, the electric yellow kind of color in a, in choice against that off white. I think yeah, it reminds me of in and out and then this one, I believe, has a blue undervisor to it, a light blue, or maybe it's a lavender. I don't know. Mm. Don't quote me on the UVs on this one. We'll get uh, some detailed shots over to you guys um, from the LA account. So uh, I unfortunately do not have undervisor shots. Um, but then the batterman on this one is that red with that electric yellow as well. Yeah. No, one of Davey's personal favorite. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not mad at Davey picking that. I feel like that's, that's a good one to have. This is my sleeper of the pack. Uh, mm. I'm digging this, Angels. Uh, so 60th anniversary side patch on this one. Purple crown, red upper visor, gray under, I believe. I'm almost mm. positive on that one, gray under. Uh, and then this light blue for the A with a white halo. Um, this one is a beauty. No, I agree. I think this is like, I feel like this one kind of has that, like, again, you know, I feel like you could do something with that, with this, mm -hmm. sure. Um, but it's like, again, I feel like this is one of those white tee, maybe throw on like jean jacket or something, you know, have some like, you know, like for like fall, fall weather type out there in LA. I think this is a good, I agree with you, Austin. I think this is a sleeper. Yeah, I love this one. You have sneakers that fit is exactly the white halo sets it apart for sure. And then last but certainly not least, we have the LA Dodgers with another 1980 All-Star Game side patch. We have the infrared uh, top visor here mm -hmm. with the light blue crown, white LA logo, and then classic Dodger look for the uh, for the side patch there. And this one is a gray, gray under visor on this one. I really like this one too. Um, this one I think is sitting in the four spot for me. I believe there's eight in the clip uh mm -hmm. there yeah and then we have that uh pink um for the batterman along with the light blue again so let me see let me count one two three four five six seven eight eight in the clip for saturday at la all la exclusives so you won't see these at noho you won't see these at great mall you won't see them anywhere besides uh melrose jay will be there It'll be very advantageous if you show up. Uh, there will be surprises. Uh, have a good time, people. I wish I could be there. Um, overall, dope job by Jay. These have been a long time coming. We started planning this when he told us about his sneakers. Um, mm -hmm. And we so the, the hats came in very long after the sneakers came in. Yeah. Um, but when he told us about the sneakers, we cooked this up with him. He's like, I want to make this LA exclusive. He absolutely crushed it with this one. Um, mm -hmm. so great job to Jay. 
always gets his flowers. Um, you know, he's a, he's definitely a pioneer in the, in the hat space. So absolutely love working with that man all around. Great human too. Yeah. Great guy. Like I said, if y'all ever get a chance to chop it up with them, probably one of the easiest people you could ever talk to super, you know, great about the culture and, you know, his place in it. So definitely one yeah. of those, one of those folks, you know, one of the greats in the community. So shouts out to Jay. Congratulations again. I wish I could be out there. Um, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I may show my face out in LA one of these days. I hope you do, brother. I hope you do. One of these days. All right. So we're we're still cooking with gas over here. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm, nothing Sunday. So we're taking a day off. We're taking yeah. a day off on Sunday. Monday. Whew, Monday has some good stuff as well. Um, so I'll show off. What, what do you want to see first, minor league or MLB? Minor league. Okay. Minor league Mondays. I feel like yep. that'll be a good, good way to go. All right. So minor league Monday, we have starting it off with the Clearwater Threshers. Let me share my screen. There we go. Uh, so showing off minor league. I'll breeze through these guys here really quickly. Uh, let me make sure that I'm able to, where am I at here? Okay, cool. So I got to go right. So playing Janes, I think on all of them. Uh, mm -hmm. and then there's randomly an MLB in there with the, with the fitteds for minor league Mondays. So, hmm. um, flat batty, uh, with the purple and the black on the crown there, black under gray under, um, okay. clear water. out of curiosity, when are we going to start doing the baddies with the uh, the new baddies that um they said for milb that are going to start uh next year are we i don't know when we got access to that so um it depends on when we got access to it i was actually going to check in with john john loves doing the minor league mondays usually john is the one that does the minor league mondays um mm -hmm. but i was going to check in with him on that and see when that was coming to fruition um, mm -hmm. I would love to include that on something that i've been working on for next year so mm -hmm. um yeah, so next we have the Daytona Tortugas. Uh, this one is a very nice crown. Uh, mm -hmm. This would be. This is giving me Emerald Bay vibes. I, I can so, see that. Yeah, I can definitely yep. see that. So Ben, I'm sure will be picking this one up um, mm -hmm. because he is like Ben has the Emerald Bay pack. I do not. It was before my time at Hat Club, um, mm -hmm. but this is uh, I think would be like a, a great addition to that. That's. So. I like that green, kind of like that. Like you said, that emerald green got the blue in there. Yeah, there's there's a lot you could do with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then great batterman on the back there with the uh, the like sky blue on the left hand mm -hmm. side and green on the right hand side. Uh, I like this one a lot. This one was definitely my favorite out of the minor league Monday. Mm -hmm. This one I do know that Ben will absolutely be picking up the exploding whales. Uh, he's obsessed with the exploding whales. Uh, so he, he picked up last week's. This is a second week in a row that we're bringing back the exploding whales. I don't know if it'd be exploding whale season, um, for the entire fall. Uh, mm -hmm. but here we are with another exploding whales coming at you for my, for her minor league Monday. Gray unders, black udders, everything's made in China for, uh, minor league Monday as well. I like that purple and teal combo. Definitely like that. I believe it's a uh, blue. It's blue. Oh, yeah. I think it's royal blue. Hmm. Yeah, royal blue and teal. The more you know. Uh, Key West Conches. Never had heard of this team ever in my life before seeing this one. Hmm. Don't know what farm team they're a part of. Uh, I tried to do some Googling and I really couldn't see, see much on them. Don't know where they're from. Someone in chat has to know more than me, but I was completely thrown off when I saw this, that it was Key West Conches. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's Ben with the exploding whales in chat. <laughs> um, but good looking crown regardless. Um, plain Jane, like I said, all the, all the minor leagues are plain Janes for this week. Black upper or black upper crown. Uh, green upper visor, gray under, um, purple or like a lavender purple and, uh, and green for the back batterman and then gray under on the back. Yeah. I like that. Um, I really feel like I like the, I think the front logo for the conscious, I think is my favorite part of the crown. 
Um, okay. That they went with the like the purple inside of it as well. I like that. I think that's a I think that's a good crown. I like it. I Flash play. Flash said that the Key West Conches were a member of the Class B Florida International League in 1952. In the Florida State League from 1972 and 1974, so they existed for two years, and that's why I've never heard of them. So ah, okay. Shout out to Flash Fire, giving us the giving us the little known MIOB fact of the day. I'm, yeah, very nice. Like you did I'm a gonna... quick Google for me, I'm sure. Oh, Space yeah. Hippie, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. We do miss Ben in these parts. Uh, so next we have the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Um, so this one is. Very reminiscent of uh, the lightning pack um, uh, that I did with the with the green upper crown and the Vegas gold top visor. Although this kind of looks more khaki, it looks a little bit more khaki. Yeah, your, yours was a little bit more gold. I was, I mean, I'm partial to it because of because of the inspo, but <laughs> <laughs> I do like it though. It's a very yeah. nice looking crown. So with the orange outline on the on the palm tree there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that this is khaki. This looks much more khaki. Okay. Yeah, definitely looks a lot, a little bit darker. Plain Jane again, like I said, and then orange and green for the back batterman with black guts, uh, gray bottom. Definitely a good crown for the, um, what shoe is that? The uh, LeBron FAMU, uh, the LeBron 8 FAMU. Yeah, That's what I yeah, thought this of. is very much a FAMU hat, mm -hmm. very much a FAMU hat. Uh, okay, and then the random Tampa Bay thrown into the mix. I don't know if this is like also part of Tampa Bay's farm team logos or something, but mm. it has a MLB uh, batterman on the back, mm. um, but we're throwing it in for Minor League Monday. Uh, so we got the Tampa Bay Rays here uh, with a red crown, black upper visor, gray mm. under, I believe, on this one. Nice metallic threading, uh, silver metallic, and then the red metallic throughout. Um, mm -hmm. Really good looking hat. I like it. Like it a lot. Yeah. Um, this is almost like giving me like XFL vibes. Yeah. I was thinking either that, um, Tampa Bay vibes as well. It's just missing that kind of like that mustard kind of gold in there. But I like the hits of it almost looks like infrared in the actual front logo itself. Um, mm, yeah. It kind of does. Kind of has a I believe little bit. It is just red. Uh, I think it's red uh, mm -hmm. metallic, but it, I can yeah. definitely see that. Definitely can. Uh, nice looking side patch on this one with the 25th mm -hmm. as well. With That's the yeah. silver metallic all throughout. Yeah. Um, RNG Fo said, yeah, that just looks like a raise times bucks crossover. Yeah. That's like I was saying, I feel like it gives like Black Manta. Shouts out to you, Up Top, for the, <laughs> good, for the good comic inspo um, there. I feel like that's, uh, yeah, I really like this. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like this is like bread fours, bread 11s, pretty yep. much any bread Jordan. Like this is, 100%. This is your go to hat right here. 100%. Easy. Yeah. And then MLB flat batty on the back, uh, black and silver. I think uh, I think uh, who was it? Elk Dot is onto something. I think I I think this one's nickname might have to be the Black Manta. I feel like I like it. I think that's a good uh, I think that's a good call out. Yeah. Okay. So going into the rest for Monday, uh, I it is quickly becoming one of the more popular silhouettes in the industry. But we are bringing in some fire nine forties for the real mm. tree fans out there. Um, okay. so there's going to be two different types of real tree happening here. Um, and it's a mix of teams. The, uh, D backs is first up here with the real tree crown with the black upper, uh, and an inaugural season side patch there. And I believe these are gray unders. Mm -hmm. This Dodgers is pretty nice. That's pretty impressive. Nice. Yeah. I uh, like that. Don't know what's going on with the sticker there. Why that's so crooked, but <laughs> You know, you rip off the sticker anyways. Um, and then 60th anniversary side patch here mm -hmm. with all metallic. I think all of these have metallic uh, metallic thread Ready? throughout. Yeah. And then obviously no baddie because it's a 940 snapback. <laughs> the Atlanta Braves with the 95 mm -hmm. World Series side patch. Good choice on that. Good choice on that. They got nicknamed that the Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> I like it. Uh, New York Mets. So good looking Mets here with the 2002 side patch, uh, 40th mm -hmm. anniversary side patch. Um, yeah, a lot of real tree happening here. I don't know how you feel about uh, real tree to furry, but 
Uh, I know I've had this conversation with sneakers and fitteds before, but I personally don't wear real tree because real tree has a different connotation with it where I'm from. Yeah. Uh, so like real tree is very redneck and, uh, you know, if they saw me walking around in real tree, they might think I'm a racist. So, <laughs> that, so that's why I don't wear real tree. Um, but yeah, sneaker and fitted and I have had that combo. He's in the same, he's in the same boat as me, but I think that real tree fr- fans are going to like these for sure. I feel like, uh, I mean, for me, uh, definitely I have some favorite real tree hats that have released, obviously the horror pack last year, um, with the Blair, Witch Baltimore mm-hmm. Orioles, mm-hmm. to me it was very well executed. Um, even the for those that you know caught the uh post that were going on the hat club page as well, there was an Astros real tree, it was a two tone, um, that actually came out on day two. Yep, um, that was like another really good one. So, I think when it's done tastefully, I'm okay with it. Now, if that is that going to be the first hat that I go to my collection, I'm like, yep, I'm wearing real tree today, probably <laughs> not, but it's like that. How can I? It's kind of like, I mean, to me, it's kind of like this crown, it's like. This isn't an everyday. Yeah. Okay. But it's like a, if I really want to get, you know, somebody's attention, you know, spice the fit up a little bit, maybe like, wow, I, I really wouldn't think about that. I feel like shout out to my boy Just John, because he did he did Mr. Postman and um most Mr. Postman's Blair Witch Pro, um Blair Witch Project or it was Justice. I liked it. Or oh, yeah. Blair Witch inspired hat. Yep. Justice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um yeah, I think I agree with your statement there. Um, I also drive a pickup truck too, so I feel like if I'm driving around in a pickup truck in real tree, I'm gonna get some looks. So, <laughs> <laughs> especially in Baltimore too, like uh, people are gonna look at me funny. Yeah. Um, so, but this one's a really nice crown. Uh, I like the um, green execution here with the metallic green in the uh, script, mm-hmm. um, and then the 25th mm-hmm. anniversary side patch. I think it's really nice looking. Yeah, and I like how they flipped it. So instead of the real tree mm-hmm. actually being the crown color or the um the yeah the crown color, they actually put it on the visor. Mm. We have Seattle Mariners next. That one I really like. That one I do like. With the 30th anniversary side patch here, I like this side patch a lot because of the inclusion of like the sea foam, mm-hmm. uh, green type of look to it. I'm gonna be real with you, man. <laughs> I said, all you're missing is the Confederate flag bumper stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, sneakers and fitted. That's uh, that, that's not the vibe I'm trying to go for, though. <laughs> so, so, but everybody should go cop these. It's just not for me. So. <laughs> Good Giants. Giants, San Francisco Giants, and I believe this has a 50th anniversary. Yes, 50th yeah. anniversary side patch there. Um, so really good execution on the side patch. I love all the logo treatments that they did on these. I love mm. all the side patches that they did. I love that it's gray unders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that really for these, if I was a real tree guy, I would absolutely cop it. But I just unfortunately am not. But I think everybody should be excited about it. That does like right, real tree. Mm-hmm. Um, Los Angeles Angels, 40th anniversary uh, side patch there. Again, really nice execution here. I like that this one has, I think, that pistachio color in it again. Yeah, I feel like the last four that you've shown, so it was Giants, um, yeah, Giants, Angels. I want to say you also showed Seattle. And then I think the one before that was, I think, Arizona. Yeah, the, this, the green is the, the tonal color for the crown. And then the real tree on the visor, that's, that's hidden. I like that. Mm-hmm. 50th anniversary side patch on the San Diego Padres script. Darker green for the swinging fryer. Mm-hmm. Oh. This one's nice. The Cardinals. It's a nice looking hat. Yeah, red and green. That that's gonna be a money combination every time. And I like that's a that's also a front logo for St. Louis that you really don't see that often. So I, I like that they went with that. Agreed. Yes, uh, Shauna, all 940 A-frames on these. Uh, these are dropping Monday. I think great-looking side patch as well. Yeah, that's an awesome-looking side patch. I, now, what's that three bird? Three birds on this one? Yep, three birds. One. Yeah, so the mm-hmm. same side patch that, we, you, we're, that we're using for the previous collection that we showed. Mm-hmm. Um, Yankees with the 99 World Series side patch. And then, oh, it's green buckle on these ones where the last ones were black. 
And that is the 940s that are dropping Monday. Those are dropping in the afternoon. Um, and then the minor league Mondays are dropping in the morning. Mm. But one thing that I will go into, it doesn't stop, folks. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm, hold on a second. I'm trying to pull this up here. Tuesday, we have something that everybody's been looking forward to. I think there's been some sneak peeks out there. Mm-hmm. We are dropping a new glow in the dark mm. called Midnight Glow in the Dark. Midnight. Getting spooky. We're starting spooky season next week, folks. Mm. We're starting spooky season. And we're kicking it off with a script Cleveland Guardians with the progressive field side patch. All of these glow in the dark. So I will show what they look like glow uh, with the glow in the dark. AB. Uh, helped us out there and took some pictures of the way that they glow in the dark as well. Um, so shout out to him for those. Thank you for all the pumpkins in chat. Let's get spooky. <laughs> but Kapuri uh, is also going to show you guys if it if you're new to Hat Club and you've never picked up a glow in the dark from us. Defuri is going to show off what that glow in the dark looks like um, live uh, on the stream right now. Yep. But Deferry, let me know when you're ready for that. I think I might be. You, I'm using my I'm using you. my black light to do a little bit of a, a little bit of charging here. So I'm gonna turn the light. All right, off. let me show off three hats, and then you can do your. Uh, okay. So charge it up, and then we'll have you flip it off. Sounds good to uh, me. Yeah, flip on the uh, glow in the darks there. So Cleveland Guardians progressive field side patch, uh, gray unders on all of these, also made in China on all of these as well. So. Clearly, our latest batch of manufacturing all uh, were <laughs> China driven. Um, besides the uh, um, uh, Bangladesh that happened for the Campbell Soup clap. Mm-hmm. Better look at the Cleveland Guardian side patch there. Oh, these are like a so the glow in the dark. So you know too, chat. If anybody's new to the glow in the dark game, the white isn't a pure white like you're typically seeing mm-hmm. on uh, on a threading. Nope. Uh, when it's a white threading, it's a bit of an off white. Um, mm-hmm. So, which is the glow activation to it? Uh, all right. So, Cleveland Guardians was up first. L.A. Dodgers. This side patch slaps uh, with this execution. Um, so this one, I it's a coloring, but it's definitely not that pure white that no. I was just talking about. I'm I'm gonna co-sign with what a lot of people have been saying. That's the item. I think that's the that that for Guardians or for Dodgers. Dodgers. The Dodgers is the item. Dodgers is very very nice. I like the Dodgers a lot. Mm-hmm. Um. So and then yeah, you'll see this kind of gives it a better showcase here of the. Uh, of the like off white nature to the, uh, to the script on the front. So Los Angeles Dodgers for hat number two in the midnight glow in the darks, the midnight G I T D S um, giants, San Francisco giants for the next one with the 2010, I believe world series side patch. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get a closer look at that giant script. Yep. 2010 world series side patch on that one. And then after this, Tafuri, are you ready to show off your? Uh... Yeah, I am. I'm. A, I just have to go turn off my my key light over here, and then. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that. So let's do this. Flip Tafuri up there. So, so we'll show a little a glow in the dark. About oh. the selection in the comments. Um, they were talking about the glow, my gods. So. If you yeah. So. See in a minute. Tafuri broke out a glow, my gods from last year. Yeah, so if you can see that there, that's how I can they see look. it. I'm sure kind of chat like can see directly it putting black light on it. But yep. Oh yeah. Oh shit. So you can see that there. So I got that one, and then the other one that I have is also the Texas Rangers. Um, got this one as You're well. You're upside down again, just so you know. So you can kind of see how it looks. Again, these are quick charges. If I probably kept these in the sun, these will probably be more persistent. So that's one question I get from a lot of people is like, how do you get it to glow strongly? Um, One of the things that you kind of want to think about is, like Austin said, you know, all of these uh, stitchings are like kind of more (laughs) awkward. So essentially what that means is that, you know, when you put it in the sun, it's UV activated. That's what actually allows it to, to glow. 
So if you keep it in the sun long enough, it'll have a stronger glow at night. So like if you've ever seen Travis Scott sixes, any of those other types of shoes, like normally if you see people just kind of leave them out in the sun for a little bit, kind of let the sun bake them, um, that's normally when they glow the brightest. So that is when we could do it with the black light, but the best way arguably to do it is definitely put it in the sun. And Teferi's dressing up as Spider-Man for Halloween. That's why he's upside down, folks. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely um yeah, that's how that's how you do it. So like I mean, for me, I feel like this this pack half definitely has a lot of um I feel like he's showing the glow on <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's I feel like that's probably one of my favorite. Like I think this I think the Dodgers out of this pack is my favorite. Giants is kind of like a little bit more minimal, but I, I definitely like it. All right. Let's get back into it. Next, we got Arizona Diamondbacks. This one, like the Arizona Diamondbacks script, feels very Halloween to me because, like the like the points on the end of the Arizona, like feels very like vampire fangs. So I do like the execution of Arizona script for this. Um, with the inaugural season side patch, the side patch is actually pretty dope. The way that it's executed there with the orange snake. And then gold, uh, gold metallic threading there. So, yeah, very good, very good execution. So people in the comments were like, "Oh, he's like show this year." So yeah, I don't have any of this year's. Obviously, not in hand. These were just showing those. Yes, years. yes. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any of this year's in hand. Um, mm -hmm. So you're going to be seeing pictures for all of them. Oakland A's again with another script for the Oakland A's 50th anniversary side patch on this one. Also a beautiful execution. Um, but not my favorite out of this pack. Not my favorite out of this pack. Dodgers is definitely uh, one of my tops. So, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I'm a bigger fan of the Dodgers. This one is okay. Um, I definitely do like it. Um, I feel like most of the logos that have a larger like script, they'll probably glow a lot better. But definitely, mm -hmm. if, if you're giving me the choice between those two, I have a slight preference to um, LA. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tafuri, can you try and flip your phone? See yeah, if that I'm gonna try to do that there? now. Well, now you're sideways. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I have zero idea how that happened. I guess, like they said, it went into the upside down when I was trying to show, show the glow on the older hats. Hell yeah. Um, so next we have the New York Mets with the 50th anniversary side patch again. So we're two for two with the Mets script, uh, with the 50th anniversary, uh, side patch combo there. So, mm. Obviously, one of my favorites. Let's go, Mets. Um, but <laughs> yeah, now I'm sorry. I think that the the city uh, skyline here looks absolutely sick and menacing with the fact that it's all black. So great execution there. Oh man, I might be showing a New York Mets in a little bit. That really? is not this one. Okay. So. Houston Astros. This one I believe is going to fly quicker than the Walnut Script Astros. Um, so Minute Maid Park side patch on this, but this one is fantastic. Yeah, I feel like this is probably one of my favorites out of this pack. Um, I like this, I like the Houston and I like the LA. I feel like those are probably like my two favorites. Hell yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Not... Well, I like the Mets, but you know, <laughs> I, I agree that this is a top one though. So <laughs> Yeah, that I think that for me will probably be the only thing is I think high um high TV said it. I feel like that side patch could have maybe could have done something different. I don't like honestly, I feel like I'm trying to think. 40th, maybe. No. I'm just trying to think of a patch that has like yeah. enough. Like, I'm not like, mad at it because uh I like the I like the use of uh that amount of orange. Uh, in the side patch. I'm not mad at it. So, mm -hmm. 30 fifths. Um, and I think you're going to get a lot of glow in the dark from the script in the front. So mm -hmm. I feel like the fact that it's going to be minimal glow in the dark on the side patch helps it out, really. Mm -hmm. um, I did like uh, Eric's comment where he said he remi you, remi you were reminding him of the ludicrous video from. Yeah, back. I didn't like. I was. <laughs> yeah, I saw like it. Yeah, with the 40 fit. Yeah, I feel like it just. It's a, it's still a good hat. I think, like you said, I think the eye catcher for this one is definitely going to be more so the Houston front logo script. If you see this iPad, it's kind of like okay, cool. But I think definitely the the thing that drew my attention was the front logo for sure. I don't know. I'm not hating it. But yeah, not, yeah, not hating it. Everybody, it's everybody's got their opinions. Yeah. So, uh, 
so black and orange for the flat baddie on the back. Um, again, mm -hmm. black under visor, black gutters, all made in China. So I'll start showing off the glow in the dark effect here mm -hmm. um, that we did our best on. Obviously, like what Tafuri just showed off was a way better uh, representation when he was hitting it uh, with the UV light for a good amount of time. Um, but thank you, AB, for uh, providing all these fo photos for us. So you can kind of get a look at it. It's going to be a lot brighter. It's not going to be this faint. Um, this was just a quick snap of a of a photo to try and get that. So it's going to be a lot brighter glow in the dark execution there. And Carrillo actually asked a good question. There's oh okay, and um, AB just answered it. So Carrillo was asking if it the battery glows, and AB said it does. So yes, the, the batterman does. Batty glow. does glow. Uh, San Francisco Giants. That's how that's going to look like once it's glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. World Series patch on the side. Arizona. Again, I think this one feels the most Halloween to me out of all of them. Yeah. Um, great execution there. Mm -hmm. Guardians is still very nice. I like it. With the progressive field side patch. Dodgers. I think this might be the fan favorite right now. Yeah. No, I, I'm telling you, that's that's going to be the – if I have a prediction of what hat's going to probably fly, the, fly first, it's definitely going to be L.A. LA is probably going to fly first and then maybe I think Houston's going to be the first one to fly, but mm. I think Dodgers yeah. is going to not be too far after that. Yeah. Look at that. Houston, that Houston looks phenomenal. Perfect. And I like the subtleness of the glow in the dark on the side. I really do. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's good diversity. Like I said, I think for the larger logos, like the athletics and the guardians and the LA Dodgers, I feel like, yeah, you definitely have to have that front logo side logo kind of parody but since the houston logo is like like i said so much of an eye catcher and has a lot going on in it oh Carrillo has a good point uh the houston might be the moon that could be why mm. it's a good point it's a good point and then there's our metsies that's a good glow oh all right mm -hmm. okay athletics 50th that one looks really cool with the side patch. I do like that one. And then there's how the Batterman will glow as well. Hmm. Gray under, black gutter, made in China, releasing Tuesday. And then for our good people at NoHo, here is a NoHo exclusive uh, midnight glow in the dark. So these white spots are just something that happened with the camera. So don't really pay attention to that. That has nothing to do with the hat. Um, but uh mr matt mr matt so this might be a pickup for me uh i am a sucker for mr matt um especially when it's executed properly uh my favorite baseball i uh, my favorite baseball mascot by far even though i do love the philly fanatic yeah. um but yeah shea stadium side patch uh on the side oh you can't really there's no side patch one so i can't show that Anyways, so yeah, Shea Stadium side patch on the side. This is a patch that we've been using a lot over the summer. Uh, we brought it into fall as well, but this is a NoHo exclusive. There might be another NoHo exclusive as well. That might be a surprise for y'all. Um, so if you're tuning in from New York, you're going to be uh, doing well with this pack. So yeah, this like whole pack was concepted by Justin, and then John brought a lot of them to, to light. Um, at the end. So big difference between the glow my gods from last year is like you'll see on Tafuri's hat, orange under visor last year, good grays this year. I'm a big fan of that. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Um, I think that this is a I think it's a good pack. I think a couple of people have asked, is this releasing at midnight since the, the name is the midnight? Oh we didn't think about that, but now we might no, you mm -hmm. never know. Might have just done something there. Might, might have All just right. let's see. Uh, and that's all that I have, folks. Oh, we lost to furry. Well, that, oh, there he is. I don't know what, what just happened, but yeah. <laughs> Zero idea. Um, well, perfect timing because that is literally all the hats that I have to show off. Um, I'll run through I'll run through them again in terms of – I'm not showing all the hats again. That's an insane amount of hats. <laughs> um, but Walnut Scripts Tomorrow. Probably one of our top packs of the year so far, in my opinion. 
-hmm. then we have uh, a great variety pack on Friday, um, which if you need a reminder on those, it was the Taxi A's. Mm -hmm. uh that really really nice looking rangers um yep. the indian script that was the stone crown so i'm imagining that's gonna fly that is not an app exclusive as well so you're really gonna have to have uh quick uh quick fingers on that one for checkout um and then we have that cubs hat that john showed on his socials a couple hours ago um, mm -hmm. that someone dubbed the Gary Payton versus Michael, which I don't think is a bad, uh, is a bad representation there. Um, and then the seventh, we have more heat. So we have the Campbell soup for .com, but then we have a big event at LA for J tips. Um, mm -hmm. so eight styles for J I believe, yeah. um, again, uh, I believe that we're going to have, uh, lineup start at eight doors open at 10. Um, so there won't be any wristbands or anything uh, handed out for that. Um, so everybody be civil uh, and uh, really give Jay, uh, show Jay what LA is about. Both Jay, our store manager, and Jay Tips. Um, so really rep LA for us there. Um, sad that I'm missing it, but should be an amazing drop. Sunday, nothing. <laughs> uh, day off, finally. <laughs> and then Monday, we're right back at it with those 940 real trees and the minor league Monday. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday we have midnight glow in the darks. So, and it's not the, I'll do a little spoiler here. We'll, we'll, I'll end it in Ben fashion. It is not the only time we're getting spooky that week. It is not the only time we're getting spooky that week. All I can say y'all is just look at your calendars see what days are next week you know there's certain days that are synonymous with spooky time so you know just just you know use your imagination pay attention take it take advantage of afterpay <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> take advantage of afterpay um you know budget accordingly uh next week's recap is going to be a big one um next friday we're going to do a special stream as well Mm -hmm. um, that Ben, myself, probably Davey, I'm not sure about AB, uh, but we're mm -hmm. going to be doing a gaming session uh, next Friday, uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, so join mm -hmm. us for that. Uh, but we're going to play Dead by Daylight. Ooh. So that should be fun. Be uh, we're going to get spooky on Friday the 13th. And then next Saturday, we have something big going on too. So that I will be a part of. Um, more to come on that. Uh, but it will be a, a fun time next Saturday as well. We're not slowing down at the end of the year. So, uh, no, like I said, it's, it's been a great, it's, it's been a great month so far. Like I said, I mean, I feel like this month there's something for everybody. Like I said, if you're not a walnut scripts person, you know, there's definitely some variety packs to hold you over. I think someone asked what the, what the color was of that stone Indians. It was a green UV on that one. Um, if I'm not, I'll show that one. I'll show that one. I'll, I'll be generous and yeah. show, uh, that yeah so if, if you're one of those people that got indian script fever they got you covered um tomorrow with the um with the app exclusive and then also the variety pack that's coming on friday um yeah i think that was green i'm pretty sure that was if i remember it right indian script friday variety pack stone crown green that's uv navy top visor yep it was like execution. yeah like i said you know scotty you know, as as Austin said, there's, there's a lot of scary things going on next week. So use that. Next week is one of the spookiest weeks for mm -hmm. Hack Club, but it's uh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Good. And um, yeah, it's going to be spooky at a couple of our stores, too. It's going to be spooky at a couple of our stores, so, uh, not just online. So, yeah, definitely got to tap in. You know, definitely. Like I said, I think. I think this month for real, like, you know, just the first half of it, like I said, there's there's a little bit of something for everybody. So if you feel like, ah, this one really doesn't speak to me, I feel like the J tips may speak to you if you're out in LA. Um, if not that, we got minor league Mondays, we got variety packs, we got everything. Whatever you need, we got. So tap in, tag us, you know, in your posts, show us how you put fits together with them, show us your clips, all of that. Like we love to see that for real. I wanna see who cops the most over the next 
week and a half, two weeks. I'm, there's a lot happening. I feel like I feel like Walnut. I'm definitely gonna have to get about. Like I said, I'm probably gonna get about two or three. I'm gonna I'm pair my top five Woo! two or three. Um, definitely gonna get the midnight glow in the dark. Get a couple out of there. Um, yeah, and then obviously. I'm gonna try to see if I could finagle a way to get maybe one of those LAs out of that. But if I can't, that's a dead mission. May try to do something <laughs> else. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a is a great month for hats. I feel like this is a really good time. I say that I said this, I think the last time I was on with Ben, I think this is a really good time for the culture. Um yep. there's, there's a lot of just different things going on, snapbacks, A frames, you know, all that, all that good stuff happening right now. And you know, just really good hooks, you know, really good, really good crowns coming out in the next couple of weeks. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. Yeah, I know I'm biased on that, but October is uh, is probably one of our most. Uh, I think beyond June, October is one of our biggest months. Uh, so June was a really big month for us. We had a lot of big collections dropping in June. February was a really big one for us with uh, all the stuff that we had going on at Supermart, mm -hmm. um, and then we had some other like Wild Valley was in February. Yeah. Um, which was an amazing one. Um, like we had DeAndre's uh, collab happen in February. Yeah. So like to me, October is definitely one of our top months of the year. So. Oh yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, man. Crazy, crazy end to this year. Great start to Q4. So like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the things I could put together, you know, like I said, coming, coming up in the next couple of weeks, but we're going to, we're going to run it up though. Definitely going to run it up. Yep. Like I said, get after pay ready. Well, Tafuri, thank you for uh, thank you for subbing in this week. So do what I can. Um, thank you for everybody for sticking around. Uh, shocker, we didn't have any tech issues really. I mean, Tafuri was Spider Man in it for a little bit, but definitely was. Other than that, we didn't have any uh, tech issues, which was amazing. So um, mm -hmm. lots of good stuff coming over coming out over the next week. Um, so. Hope that Ben is resting up. Uh, he was in chat earlier. He probably dipped out and is passed out right now and mm -hmm. probably uh, <laughs> face deep in uh, in a shitload of tissues. I don't know if you saw his post on social media, but mm -hmm. it was pretty comical. He had all of his gauze uh, smashed against his face um, from his surgery. But rest up, Ben. We'll see you next week. Ben will be back for bench warmers next week. Mm -hmm. He'll be back for Flip the Script. If you haven't tuned in to Flip the Script yet, it was pure fucking comedy. It was amazing. <laughs> so it was, uh, Ben was playing Madden. Um, he'll probably play Madden again. That is going to be a, a segment that is voted on by the community though, mm. uh, week in, week out. So you guys are going to pick which game Ben plays. First one, we just let Ben pick cause you guys didn't know about the segment yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but Ben, uh, Ben did an amazing job there. Uh, so I'm excited for that moving forward. Then Wednesday, we're back with another recap. And then, I, like I said, special Friday stream next week as well. So um, jam-packed next week. And then we're not done. We're going into the weekend with something strong too. So um, you guys will see more about that on social media. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll, uh, you definitely will be seeing some familiar faces for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So like I said, I appreciate you, Austin, for having me. It's always a great time hanging out with you guys on recap. Um, who knows? Folks really like seeing me up here. You know, maybe I'm up here a little bit more, but I'm always appreciative every time I get a chance to hang out with you guys. So, um, hell yeah, brother. I'm so stoked that you were able to join us. And thank you again for doing it. We didn't go over site sleepers. There's some good stuff on the site right now. I don't think we have the time. It's 9 15. Uh, we've been live for almost two hours. So, uh, what happened to the pop? Uh, he had a little accident today. So, we're today? Yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he's been a uh, a thing now. It's official that the uh, the grogginess is worn off because now he's trying to get up and move about. So, oh my god, poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Break? Did he break his leg? Yeah. Oh boy. So yeah, but he is. He's a trooper. He's hanging in there. Um, well, my brother in boots. Yeah, brothers. So I'm right there with you, bud. So <laughs> yeah, so we're we're definitely gonna be like I said. Um, tune in. Like I said, we're going to be doing some – make sure you guys are paying attention, watching the programming, great programming here. Um, and, Austin, I'll see you guys next time, y'all. 
have me on the stream. Man. Appreciate you as well. Absolutely appreciate it. Oh, what? <laughs> we got some. I don't know. We got some special. Let me see if I do it again. Do? I don't do think it? there's a better way. Yeah, to end it did. I, I don't, I don't think the there's key. a better way to end the show. Love yeah. that. All right. Well, top sneakers and fitness is going to do a top five uh, site sleepers for us for sure. as well. So make sure you t tap in there. Yeah. But <laughs> awesome, Tafuri. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you everybody for hanging out. Uh, and I love the balloon execution. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was unexpected, but it was, it was right on time. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you. We'll see you next week. All right, man. See you guys. See ya.